Pre-K families. My name is Susie Kelly and I am the new director of Pre-K for Cabot Schools. It's hard to believe that another school year is about to begin, but we are so excited for our new Pre-K families. First, I'd like to tell you about a few changes starting with the Pre-K calendar. That's right, we actually have our own calendar now. In the past, we've always followed the K-12 student calendar, but that's not the case anymore. Instead of this red and green calendar, you'll want to follow the pink and blue calendar. This is extremely important because there are several days that pre-K students will have school even though K-12 students will be out of school. That's because pre-K students are required to attend 178 days. The pre-K calendar can be found on our district website under the Parents and Students tab as well as on our free Cabot Public Schools app under the Resources icon. You will also be given a printout of this calendar when you meet your pre-K teacher at your beginning of the year conference. Pre-K is required to hold face-to-face -face conferences with parents at the beginning of each school year. Those conferences will be held on Thursday, August 10th and Monday, August 14th. Your child's teacher will be reaching out to you closer to time to schedule this. This next piece of information is very important. The first day of school for Pre-K is Tuesday, August 15th just like K-12 students. In the past, pre-K has started a day later, but not this year. Again, the first day of school for pre-K is Tuesday, August 15th. Now let's talk about drop-off and pick-up times for pre-K students. Students can be dropped off as early as 7.30. The first bell rings at each building at 7.50, and students are considered tardy after eight o'clock. If you get your child to school after eight, you will need to go through the main office and check them in. Dismissal will start no earlier than 3 p.m. at each site. If you are needing to get your child earlier than this, you'll need to go through the main office and check them out. Now let's talk about transportation. Pre-K students may ride a bus to and from school, but that does not begin until Monday, August 28th. You will be responsible for providing transportation to and from school until this date. At your conference before school begins, the teacher will confirm how you plan for your child to get to and from school. After this, if your child will be a bus rider, you'll receive a letter in the mail with bus information. If you need to make any change at any point during the year concerning transportation, please call us at 843-3363 so that we can make a note of the change and help you with that process. A child cannot be put on a bus unless arrangements have been made in advance. Finally, Pre-K does not have a school supply fee, but we do ask families to send a backpack with their child, a lunchbox if your child plans to bring their lunch from home, and a pre-filled water bottle. I'm sure you have many more questions about the start of the new year and Pre-K in general. Remember, your child's teacher will be reaching out to you to schedule a conference before the year begins. This will give you an opportunity to ask any questions you still have. If you need a question answered before then, feel free to call me at 843-3363 and ask for pre-K, or you can email me at suzy.kelly at cabotschools.org. We will be glad to help you in any way that we can. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you and your child this next school year. Here we go. Hi, I'm Stacy Allen, Director of K-6 Teaching and Learning. We've been working hard this summer to get ready for the new school year and we can't wait to see you on the first day of school, Tuesday, August 15th. Before the first day though, let me share some important back to school information for our elementary and middle school students. Open House is Thursday, August 10th from 3 to 7 p.m. Your teacher postcard will have information on how to sign up for a time to meet your teacher in small groups and visit your classroom. Teacher postcards are expected to be mailed on Friday, August 4th. The reason postcards are mailed out so close to open house is to make sure teacher and student assignments are correct. We often have last minute changes due to enrollment. If you do not receive your postcard by Tuesday afternoon, August 8th, please call your school. 
We so appreciate your patience because we know just how excited everyone is to find out who their teacher is and to schedule that open house appointment. As for school supplies, there is a one-time $25 fee that includes all necessary supplies. Unfortunately, due to the rising cost, the supply fee does not include a t-shirt this year. However, if you would still like to purchase one, they are $7. The supply fee and optional class shirt can be purchased online at our district website, or you can pay by cash or check at Open House. The only items your student will need to bring to school are a backpack, lunchbox if they plan on bringing their lunch, and a water bottle. It's very helpful for students to arrive at school with a pre-filled water bottle, but if they don't, it's okay. Remember, the first day of school is Tuesday, August 15th. We are so excited for the new school year, and we can't wait to see you. Here we go. Hello, I'm Elena Graham, Secondary Director of Teaching and Learning with Cabot Public Schools. We are so excited about the upcoming school year and are looking forward to seeing our students soon. I'm here to share some important back to school information for our 7th to 12th grade students. Let's start with our junior high students. 8th grade students will have the opportunity to meet the principal on Tuesday, August 1st at 6 p.m. Cabot Junior High North students will meet in the cafeteria and Cabot Junior High South students will meet in the gym. 7th grade and new student orientation will be on Thursday, August 3rd at 6 p.m. Again, Cabot Junior High North students will meet in the cafeteria and Cabot Junior High South students will meet in the gym. Schedules will be released online via the Home Access Center or HACC on Thursday, August 3rd beginning at 8 a.m. If you have forgotten your password, go to the HACC website and click on Forgot Password to reset it. If you need to make a schedule change, call your school. Now, Let's talk about ninth graders. Cabot Freshman Academy students, here's what you need to know. Ninth grade student schedules will be released online via HACC on Thursday, August 3rd, beginning at 8 a.m. If you have any questions or concerns, contact the counseling department. Also, on the day schedules are released, CFA will be open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. for self-guided tours. This is a great opportunity to walk around campus on your own and find your classes prior to open house or the start of school. Cabot High School students, this next section is just for you. Sophomore new student orientation is Tuesday, August 8th at 6 p.m. in the Fine Arts Auditorium on the Cabot High School campus. Schedules for seniors will be released online via HACC on Tuesday, August 1st at 8 a.m. Juniors will access their schedules online Wednesday, August 2nd at 8 a.m. And sophomore schedules will be released online Thursday, August 3rd at 8 a.m. Students who are taking concurrent classes can stop by the Student Success Center at Cabot High School on Tuesday, August 1st or Wednesday, August 2nd to pay for these classes. Students will also be able to pay online or by mail with ASU BB. If you are parking on campus at Cabot High School, Passes are $25, and the link to the submit payment is on the CHS website. Now, here is information for our Cabot Panther Academy students. The Cabot Panther Academy is home to our award-winning conversion charter school and our 7 through 12 grade digital students, as well as our ALE program. CPA students experience a more personal and smaller school atmosphere. The curriculum is self-paced, but advisors and teachers help keep students on track and provide support as needed. Cabot Panther Academy is currently accepting applications which can be found on CPA's website or you may pick up an application in person. The campus is located at 21 Fantastic Drive across from the water park. Parking passes are $15 for CPA students. These can be purchased at Open House. And speaking of Open House, Open House will be Thursday, August 10th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. for all secondary buildings. Parents and students are encouraged to stop by and meet their teachers. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your school. We can't wait to see you on the first day of school, Tuesday, August 15th. Here we go.